Okay, finally, now these are real Titan Aram seeds. Although, this one is soft and didn't make it. This is the old one that I accidentally overwatered from the previous order. I do have two coming up, and I questioned if they were even real Titan seeds because they were so small. Now these, I know to be real seeds. There, you can tell they're good quality. I hope all of them will sprout. It's supposed to be nine of them, but yeah, that one didn't make it, so it's gonna be eight. So I hope all eight will come out. So here's my technique for sprouting Titan Aram seeds and uh, difficult amorphophala uh, seeds that just don't wanna sprout. I fill the bottom of a pot with perlite and uh, orchid bark, about 50-50 more or less. So that will make this fast draining the water and it won't retain the water and it'll empty out really quick. Next I use pure long fiber sphagnum moss and I put a layer of that on top. Okay, so the long fiber sphagnum moss is wet and moist and now I start placing in my seeds. These things are hard as rocks, which is a good thing. I'm gonna put in the bad one. It's probably dead, it's all mushy, but you know, gardeners are always hopeful. If we didn't have hope, we wouldn't garden. Wouldn't expect anything to work and sprout and grow otherwise. Yeah, and I still have the dead one from the last time. I don't know, I just stubborn also keep trying even though I probably should know better. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Seeds. Alright, now I'll cover them up with more long fiber sphagnum moss. I don't think this eh, should be enough. I don't think I need to make any more. Good. And then I'm going to water these. So I need my other hand for that. Then what I did after I watered it, then what I did after I watered it really well is I covered it with the cellophane plastic and tied it off. I didn't have a rubber band, but you can use a rubber band if you have one too. And it's going to all drain out of the bottom because of the orchid bark and perlite that I put in there. And this will form a nice humidity in here without it getting overly wet. In fact, you can see it dripping out the bottom there. Now the problem with the Titan Arums that I've learned unfortunately over the past is that it is all too easy to kill them by overwatering them or having the soil get too saturated in the rain, you have to have a soil that drains really, really well. And if not, they'll, uh, they'll rot out. They'll get soft and then it's over with. But this is a safe way to sprout them. And I put the date on it. So today's the 21st. This should take between one to two weeks. Hopefully it won't take too long. We'll come back and see once they start sprouting and making roots. So here are the uh, Morphophallus Titan seeds. I planted them on the 21st, and today is the 26th. So it's only been five days, and we have, but I know for sure, one seed is already coming up. Here it is. You can see that tiny little point there? It's a sprout. It's worked. None of the others have come out yet, and I think that little white spot right there, yeah, I think that's a, uh, a root. So this method of using the moist sphagnum moss works really well. The other ones are still in there. They haven't even been there a little longer, so hopefully it does take between a week to two weeks for them to sprout. Okay, so that seed is now planted in this pot, and once again I have to wait for it 
to sprout again. Now it's got to break the surface. I've got one that's coming from there. And then this is the one that's the furthest along. All these are super, super tiny. And there it is, that little green thing. So yeah, I am very happy with this method of using the uh, perlite orchid bark underneath and then the moist sphagnum moss to sprout the Titan Aram seeds.